forged the deliberate age-old process by which the strongest, most impressive, and most exceptionally crafted things are given form. Forging brings to bear all of the elements that precede the hammer strike of irresistible force upon an immovable object. Its result is always stronger, more carefully crafted, and more useful. As Cleveland Golf has shown over the past 30 years, a company can be forged, and that company can forge an entire industry with a single product. No company has more experience crafting, customizing, and innovating a single golf club than Cleveland Golf does with the wedge. Cleveland wedges are nothing short of legendary. My first experience with a 588 wedge was uh, my sophomore year in college. First couple of rounds I, I shot very well, I finished top 10 in a college event. And I remember hitting it four or five times a, the last day, shooting about 65, making a lot of birdies with it. And I've used a Cleveland wedge ever since. I played Cleveland wedges all through high school and all through college, and now as a pro, I uh, couldn't imagine playing another wedge. I first used the 588 wedge back in college. Um, and I think my nine iron was a, was a 45 degree 588 all the way up to my wedge, and then my gap wedge, and then up to my, uh, my 60 degree uh, lob wedge. So, 588's been a wedge that's been in, the, in my back for a very long time. I started playing 588's in uh, actually my freshman year of high school. I felt like the wedge was the most important part of the game because you know if you hit bad drives you can chip out and you have a wedge in or if you hit good drives you have a wedge in and it's always about how you can get it up and down from 100 yards and in. We started the discussion, the science, the engineering, the tinkering. We made the wedge matter. The 485, the 588, the 900 and the list goes on. With more than seven million produced, no true golfer of the past three decades has gone without having one of these iconic clubs in their bag. Cleveland has made more wedges for more golfers than any company in the history of the game. 588 wedge is very traditional as far as wedges go. I've always liked the amount of offset that it has and the bounce, I've never had to you know, fiddle with it too much, never had to shave too much off or bend anything, it just seems it comes right out of the box and it's perfect for me. It's a classic wedge, there's no frills, the bounce, the bounce is, is, is just got a beautiful radius to it. It, it just, it's, it's what all blob wedges were pretty much designed after, I mean this was really, was revolutionary back in its day, it's so much so that it's still classic nowadays. I just love the, the look of Cleveland wedges and they, uh, they got a real classic look to them but also a lot of workability in the rough and in the bunkers. And, Cleveland has a great history of making a great wedge. There's a reason why you know the tour players are using a wedge that are, it's actually 10, 15, 20 years old. I don't even know when it when it first came out, but you know they made they did such a good job the first go around. They really don't have to do a whole lot to it anymore because it's so great. I'm looking for something that's going to be soft, going to have a lot of workability, going to be able to open the face and slide through the turf well, and obviously a lot of as much spin as possible and my Cleveland wedge does that for me. I like the shape. It works really well th throughout the bunkers. Doesn't matter what kind of bunkers, whether you're at the British Open or the US Open or, uh, you know, or at Firestone, it doesn't matter. Feel in a wedge is probably the most important thing uh, about a wedge. Certainly you want the right pounce for certain conditions, but uh, for us tour players, you have to have something that you can use under all different conditions. Uh, certainly the 588 wedge has always been able to provide that. Turf interaction. Spin control, flight control, those are the things I look for in a wedge. I've always liked to hit a stinger wedge, so a, 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 wedge, a wedge shot that doesn't roll up the face on me. So uh, spin has a lot to do with that. Once I uh, hit it the, the right distance, I want it to stay there. So certainly spin and feel are very important. With the, with the V grooves, the new groove technology we have, I mean, I find that, uh, you know, 588 wedge, um, you know, plenty of spin, uh, enough spin to get me uh, around any golf course in the world. The feel is great because the metal's really soft. So I get a lot of good feel around the greens and obviously with the tricks on ball, it, it really helps a lot. I like to be able to feel like the club really pinches the ball at, at, at impact. I like it so it doesn't dig too much, um, but at the same time you can feel the, the ball just roll right up the face on it where it gets nice, good spin on it. And then whenever you watch the ball land on the greens, it checks back a little bit. And that's whenever it's a lot of fun, you know, hitting 80 yard wedge shots that are taking one bounce and then sucking back five or six feet. You know, that's fun. Cleveland wedges have spun, flopped, thumped, and chunked. They've bumped and ran, splashed, bellied, and gouged. They've played every hole, every course, every shot, every championship, and earned countless millions the world over in professional competition. They've won 25 majors, 
334 PGA Tour events overall and stormed leaderboards for over a quarter century. Quite possibly the most successful single club in the history of professional golf. 60 degree that I won the PGA Championship with that I hit on the last hole in there fairly close and made the putt was a brand new wedge that week. In fact, it was the first full shot I had with that wedge other than practice on the practice team. And here I am on the 72nd hole with the probably most important wedge shot of my life and I had a, hit a wedge that I'd never hit full, a full shot with on the golf course. I hit him there pretty close and made the putt. It was a 5 88 It was a great club for me and I used it the rest of that year and into the, the next year and uh, made a lot of birdies with it. Last year on the Nationwide Tour, uh, I was coming up 18 in contention and I needed to make birdie to come in solo second, which was a big moment for me to get my PGA Tour card. I had 94 yards and I hit the best wedge shot I've ever hit uh, with my 58 degree to about four feet and made it for birdie. Classic, trusted, authentic, consistent, the original, undisputed, number one, Cleveland 588. Great set of wedges. Wherever great shots are made, Cleveland wedges are there. There's a collective knowledge here, a collective experience and craftsmanship. Every shot that has ever been hit with one of our wedges, we felt it as a company. And it's all brought us here, to this moment, to this next wedge. It could be said that all we know and all we've achieved has forged Cleveland Golf to be the company we are today. And it could also be said that because of this, only Cleveland Golf will forge the future. Introducing the 588. Forged. I can't wait to try the 588 forged. Softer feel, an improvement on one of the best wedges ever made. I'm into that.